have to raise a D in user service, we collect all the payments for you, all the registration fees on a safe bank account. And uh, when you would like, either after the race all at once, every month or every week, we collect all these payments for the period and we send it to you together with a complete documentation and reconciliation for your earnings on that period. And uh, you can use that for your own bookkeeping and uh, record it for your company or organization. Yes, when you decide to go with Race ID, you sign a seasonal contract between you and us. It's a cooperation agreement that we send to you by email. So it's nothing that you have to print out and sign. You can do it all online and it covers the legal items uh, in our collaboration. And uh, as I mentioned, it's only on a seasonal basis because we think that we don't need to bind you legally to continue working with us. Hopefully the service is good enough and you, you feel like your race benefits from it and you will continue with us anyways the next season. The contract, you don't have to renew it every year if you don't want to. It continues from year to year. If you want to switch to Race ID, we will help you with your previous data. Um, if you want to collect all your data about your participants at, at the same, in the same platform that many organizers do, you can, of course, upload everything to Race ID. We would recommend to switch after a season because then it's much easier to start from uh, zero with all your registrations. But if you want to switch to Race ID in the middle of the season and you have some registrations from another system, we will help you import those. So you don't have to think about doing it yourself. You just send us a list and we will help you import them into the system uh, in the way that you prefer and make sure that we have all the data in, in uh, one platform. Yeah, when you use Race ID, each person that registers to your race uh, will create a race ID profile. And when they do so, they will accept the terms as for being a race ID member on the platform. The data will be used just for the platform to process their orders. And, and also they can opt in if they want to, to receive uh, marketing messages, but we will never spam your participants and you always own the data about your participants. So it's not like any other organizer on the platform can go and use your data about your participant, participants. The data that you collect about your participants is your data and only you can see them in your account on the platform. With Race ID, when you sign up, you use the registration and you collect all the data inside of the Race ID platform. And then with the timing, you can choose what, what options you would like. So if you want to use the Race ID timing app, you just have all your data there already. And when you log into the app on your phone, you have your start list there ready automatically. But if you want to use chip timing, that can be any provider, one of the ones that we collaborate with, or it can be your local provider. You can easily connect Race ID with any chip timing system, either by transferring a list or via automatic API uh, connection because we have collaborations with the biggest um, um, software and, and hardware providers for for chip tining. So you can choose what suits you best and uh, you can just keep using the timing provider that you had before you used Race ID. When you have created your race in the Race ID Super Admin and published it on the Race ID calendar and open registration, you get a link to that page, like on the web browser. It, when you go to your race page, you just copy that link on top and then you go to your own race website if you have access to it or ask your web developer and you create a button or a link on your website where it says here you register and you add that link to your race page there as a link uh, because we think that's much easier than embedding the registration on your, your uh, website because that can often create problems uh, with not displaying correctly or people will have difficulty um, registering. So we recommend you do it this way, just add 
the link to your race page on your race website so people get directed to your race ID page when they register. All right, so race ID, uh, how you pay for it is per participant. There's no fee to start. We don't have any setup fees or anything. We only charge uh, a certain percentage per participants. It is five crowns or 0.5 euros or 0.5 dollars and 5% of the registration fee that your racers pay. And this we take off from uh, the total amount before we pay it out to you. So really there is no risk of getting started. You just pay as you go per participant. And there's a separate pricing video you can watch where you get some guidelines on both how you budget around your race and uh, how you can think about the covering the registration service uh, fees that, that uh, you will have to pay. So with Race ID, everything that we try to do is make things easier, easier for you in terms of the administration around your race. So we're, we're trying to create a system that lets you automate as much as you can of that boring computer administration work so that you can, you can put more time on race day. And some things in which we do this, we made it really easy to set up your race and registration. So once you've done that and you have open registration, you pretty much don't have to do anything. You just let people register and you can watch your start list get filled until race day when you just have to connect to your chip timer or log into the timing app and have everything in one, in one place. So that's really what we're trying to do is uh, save you time on the administration around the races. We also have some good tips on how you can automate communication. We have a connection to the app Sapier, which is an, a way you can connect different apps or systems. And with this tool, you can also for example, when someone registers, you can automatically send, send them an email from yourself as well. Of course, every racer gets a, a registration confirmation email from Race ID uh, with your choice of information. But you can also automate communication, for example, if you want to send out a race PM to two weeks before. Um, we'll link a video in the description uh, where one of our organizers, Nicholas Roman, is explaining how he does this um, if you want some tips on that. <laughs>